I'm going to clear the tennis court. It seems a shame to let it go to ruin. A bit of work, I can have it ripe to scratch. What on earth for? You've heard rumours that I'm training for Wimbledon next year? Uh, no, sir. I just thought Zoe might like to play, or charity. Zoe plays different games. It's for charity. You want some? No, I don't drink much. Are you all right, Mr. Tate? I've been looking for you. Still don't see why you did it. I told you last night, Chris has a right to know. Chris has a right... So, give me that. It must have been the last thing he ever wanted to hear. OK, but I have rights too. I love charity. Charity loves me. We couldn't keep it a secret forever. I mean, you couldn't keep it a secret. You seem quite happy the way things were. She'll see it's for the best. When she's had time to think. I wouldn't bet on it. Zoe, so you're playing a really dangerous game here and you've got to try and put things right with Chris. No, Paddy. You don't understand. I've been watching her slip away. I had to do something to get it back. Big gamble, though, innit? And what if you lose? Eat your breakfast. You've got all this wrong. I give the orders, not you. You're gonna sack me again? Well, why stop there? Why don't you sack the nanny? And the gardener? And all the others? Take your spite out and then? And then you could send your son off to boarding school and be left here, all on your own, just like I said you would. It's OK. You were right. Made a complete fool of myself. You don't know that. You don't know if it's true. And you're not going to find out by sitting here feeling sorry for yourself. What am I going to do, Terry? You're going to eat your breakfast. Then you're going to clean yourself up, sober yourself up, and start thinking straight. Just these. You going to home farm today? Going back. I was there first light. I just need something from the Elevenses. Any news? About what? Haven't you heard? The Tate's murky triangle. Chris, Charity and Zoe. And it all came out in Marlon's last night. I thought he was in a funny mood. He's been drinking. Oh, just like his father. He was an alcoholic, you know. Well, I hope he drowns himself in booze, the little toe rag. That's not very charitable, Viv. Well, I should think charity's a dirty word up there right now. Listen. You can have this on the house as long as you bring me back all the gossip. Thanks. Mm. Okay, go with that then. Okay, I, uh, I left my handbag. I'm sorry about last night. Um, I think this should cover everything. Oh, well, you know, if I wanted a cabaret, OK, I would have hired a conjurer. You lot were bad for business. Oh, now I've got into you, Zoe. I've apologised and I really don't want to discuss it anymore. I just need to ask Chloe something about charity. You're wasting your time. She didn't come home last night and she's really upset. Well, do you know where she's gone? No. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Look, I understand how you feel. I really didn't mean to upset her. I've got work to do. What a glorious day, eh? <laughs> they thought we couldn't touch them up there in the big house. But the hand of the dingles reached out and dragged them down the muck where they belong. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was quite like that, Zach. Huh? Of course it was. She told me and came that she could hurt them more than we ever could. He didn't believe her, but I knew I could trust that girl. She's a dingle, through and through. But with Zoe? She did what she had to do, son. And I'm proud of her. There'll be some celebrating done today. <laughs> Later on, maybe, but we've got to be at work. Hey, we'll be all right at lunchtime. Mr Pollard's got a council meeting. He'll not be back all afternoon. I'll have the drink set up ready. Meantime, I'm going to savour the moment. Miss I am mighty Zoe brought law. And that scumbag Chris cowering in his chair. <laughs> Justice! Do you think I'll ever see her again? Do you want her? I just can't imagine life without her anymore. But I can't live with the idea of her and Zoe either. Chris, we've been through all this before. But why would she say it if it wasn't true? 
Well, maybe she just wants to hurt you. I mean, I watched you takes trying to destroy each other enough times to know that nothing's ever what it seems. You need to talk to Charity, hear her side of the story. I don't even know where she is. But you've got to get out there and find her. I mean, anything's better than sitting here brooding about it. <sighs> Guess you've heard about what happened. You should think everyone has by now. You know how bad news spreads around this village? Oh, I doubt they see it as bad news. I should think most of them are delighted to see me down. Maybe you are. I don't want to think, Chris. You told me I'd drive her away. I mean, is it my fault, Cathy? Did, did I make all this happen? Hey, 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 you're asking the wrong person. Yeah, I need to talk to charity, straighten things out, get some answers, but I can't find her. I don't know where she is. No one does. Chloe? No, 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 no. Back off, Chris. She's already had Zoe near badgering her. I'm not having you upsetting her, or I'll bar the pair of you. I don't want to cause trouble. I just want some answers. It's OK, Marlon. I'll talk to him. Thank you. Perhaps you could get us a drink. Just a coffee. A bit of privacy. Chris is at Marlon's talking with Chloe. Thanks for the warning. Did she tell him any more than she told me? Don't know. I didn't stop to listen. I don't like intruding on people's grief. Well, I thought you would see he got what he deserved after the way he treated you. So this is all about settling old scores, is it? No, of course not. It's about Charity and me being in love. The way I heard it, she denied there was anything between you. She just wasn't ready to come out yet. Or is that what you wanted to believe? It's been going on for months, and maybe I shouldn't have sprung it on Chris like that, but it had to come out sometime. Quite frankly, I don't care whether it's true or not. But either way, Zoe, what you did was unforgivable. I couldn't stand by and watch her throw away her life, and I care about her too much. And what about Chris? Kathy, this is the man who had an affair with your best friend while he was still married to you. I don't need reminding. There's nothing you can tell me about Chris I don't already know, but, but maybe... Just maybe being in love might have changed him where the rest of us have failed. She doesn't love him. Probably not. But she doesn't love you either, Zoe. That's why you had no right to do this. She must have phoned you. Told you what was happening. Honestly, I haven't heard anything, Mr Tate. If she don't come back... The way you think she's gone for good? Oh, no. No, I mean, I don't know, but... If she has gone, does that mean I have to move out the cottage? I haven't got time to think about that, Chloe. I've just got to find her. You've got to help me. Don't start bullying Chloe. I've warned you, that's not going to solve anything. OK, Marlon, I can handle it. I'm sure you've got things to do in the kitchen, so why don't you get on with them? Yeah, right. I'd like to help you, Mr Tate, but there's really nothing anyone can do till she comes back. You could answer some questions. Was she having an affair with Zoe? I don't know. Oh, you're her best friend. She must have talked to you about it. If it was true. We don't discuss everything. Well, you must have someone. <sighs> Did Zoe visit the cottage often? Yeah, she came to the cottage a few times. But that doesn't prove anything. We had lots of visitors. But you, you knew that she was attracted to charity. Zoe's never made a secret of what she is. She likes women. But surely, surely knowing that charity would have said something if Zoe's made a play for her. Oh, I don't know. Zoe's a powerful woman and she's your sister. I mean, charity would have found it an impossible situation. So Zoe used her position to put pressure on charity? Yeah. That's exactly how it was. Thank you. Thank you. You've made that a lot clearer. I don't blame Charity for running away. Maybe you should think about leaving, cos you're not going to have many friends left in the village after this. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, oh, it's OK. I've said what I came for. Seems like everyone's turning against me. What did you expect? I do what I thought was right. Yeah. 
but now it looks like you've both lost her. Hey, if Pollard had any initiative, he'd have us making Tate triangle T-shirts. Oh, that's all I got, guys. Hey, I just wish I could have seen Chris Tate's face. Well, now's your chance. Here he comes. I don't want any trouble, Zach. Trouble? I want to enjoy every minute. Afternoon, Chris. <laughs> sure. How's life teaching you? Where's Charity? Why do you want to know? Need to talk to her. She don't want to talk to you, mate. Have you spoken to her? Not yet, but uh, the message is clear enough from what I've heard. So why don't you just crawl back to home farm and lick your wounds? That's all that's left for you. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, thanks anyway, pal. Cheers. Come to see Chris. He's not here. How is he? How do you expect? He's devastated. Look, I know you think what I did was. Zoe, wrong. save your breath. I've known Chris at his worst, but no one deserves what you did to him. <sighs> Zoe, I'm really glad to see you. Oh. Well, I'm pleased someone is. I've been trying to get some stud farm decisions all day, but Chris just isn't interested. We both have other things to worry about right now. I don't care what mess you make of your private lives. You've both got a business to run and I'm entitled to some support. Otherwise, you better find yourself another manager. OK, I will come right now and sort it out. Will you tell Chris I was worried about him? Tell him yourself. It'll stick in my throat. Zach's been loving every minute of this. I suppose with your dingle connection, you feel the same. Well, no, I just wish it hadn't have happened. I warned Zoe she was playing with fire. You warned her? So you knew what was going on? When did you find out? A while ago, Zoe told me. Oh, so you've only got Zoe's word that it was true. Anna saw them together in a car once. I was angry because it started to affect her work and she was supposed to be on call. What were they doing? Just talking. You see, that doesn't prove anything. <laughs> but why would Zoe lie? Because Zoe wants it to be true. Well, I, I suppose it could be like that. But... Chloe thinks Zoe's been trying to push Charity into having an affair. Don't you get it? She'd be too frightened to tell anyone because of what Zoe could do to her. It all fits. When she knew she wasn't getting anywhere, she used last night as a desperate shot to split me and Charity up. No wonder she ran away. Table Just wondered if you knew when, or indeed if, Charity was ever coming back. That's the big question. Just I've got a car tuned up. Oh, look, I've already had Chris and Zoe cross-question me about it, and I don't know where she's gone, all right? Well, I'm surprised Chris wants to find her, after what he's just heard. Well, he seems to have convinced himself that Zoe's made it all up. Well, it doesn't make a difference either way, does it? If she's done a runner, they might as well both forget about her. No chance. And since they're both stuck up at home farm, they're gonna end up killing each other. What are you doing here? I live here, remember? I'm hardly likely to forget. We need to talk. I think you've said enough. I didn't come here to row. In that case, talking would definitely be a mistake. Chris, we live in the same house. We are directors of the same companies. Ignoring each other is not an option to... Let's just try and make this as painless as possible. Cheers. What are you celebrating, Zach? The fall of the House of Tate. I hope Charity comes in soon. She certainly deserves a drink. No, I don't think Charity will be coming in. Huh? And what were you? She wasn't in the mood for celebrating. She was upset. It's OK. It's all part of the act. I'm not so sure. She told me she had it all planned. Charity said a lot of things to a lot of people. They can't all be true. She's run away, Dad. Maybe she's never coming back. Whatever you think, I never set out to hurt you. What other reason would you have for telling all those lies? Lies? You were there. Charity denied all of it. That was my fault. 
I shouldn't have surprised her like that. When she's had time to think, she'll see it's better this way. Oh, I don't think so. I spoke to Paddy, to Chloe, and everything they told me confirmed what I already suspected. Oh, which is? That this affair never happened except in your head. Or you made a try for charity and she turned you down, so you thought you'd have a better chance if you split us up. Oh, you just wanted to... All I want is you to stay out of my life as much as possible. Oh, we can work together when we have to, or I'll even be polite to you in front of people, but I'm never going to trust you again, and that includes with my son. You can't use Joseph. Oh, yes, I can. I don't want you anywhere near him ever again. You know how much I love him. You're just doing this out of spite to hurt me! So now you know how it feels! Oh, I hope you're satisfied with your night's work, Zoe. <laughs>